Good afternoon. Welcome to Handmade by Julia Quinn and my Facebook Live this afternoon. Today I'm sharing with you a new product that's available online as one of our online exclusives starting in March. The Ir Irresistible Blooms Suite. Um, it includes this stamp set which has 11 stamps and coordinating dies and there are 13 of them so there are dies that will outline all of these leaves and flowers and then extra detailed dies with leaves and the, the beautiful I haven't actually used that one yet but I've used this circle several times and this card here uses it here it's a bit of fun now I'm just going to uh, see if I can oh no that's too, too tricky for me today. Now, the other thing that's in this Irresistible Bloom Suite is, so there's the, the stamp set and the dies, and here's the Coordinating Designer Series paper. It's really, really beautiful paper, and it also coordinates with the, the dies. So these flowers here and that little leaf, all have dyes that coordinate with them and then they're really gorgeous colors lovely yellows and well it's calypso and daffodil delight and then some older colors that we haven't had for several years that are uh, pretty peacock and that's with the daffodil delight and also lost lagoon look at that one isn't that beautiful Absolutely gorgeous detail there that would make a lovely card front. And here's the same design done in the soft sea foam and the daffodil light and calypso coral. So that's and there's that reverse side. Really, really good B sides actually, which is really good. And oh, leaves, all of those leaves coordinate. There's some flowers. We're using those flowers on the project I'm sharing with you today. There's that lovely dotted edge. And there's the last, oh no, second to last design there with the gorgeous flowers and then soft sea foam flowers there. Okay, so that's all the paper. I think that's all of the pieces of paper except for I think that one I've used up all of that one there. I'll just pop them out of the way. Okie dokie, and oh, actually, this is what I wanted to show you too. This is the, the flyer um, explaining or showing the suite, and I can show you this as well. So it's got the, the stamp set and the dies, the beautiful paper, and also I didn't show you some loose frosted dots. These are all loose, but they are very, very pretty, and I've used them on quite a few projects actually. Also coming in March is some um, classic letters stamp sets, some embossing folders, and I'll show you some projects with them soon, and some gorgeous designer series paper. So that's online exclusives, only online starting on the 5th of May. Okay, you can ask me more about that if you're interested. Okay, let's start making our card. I've got my bits and pieces here in my envelope. Okay, soft sea foam. I really enjoy using soft sea foam as a, as a color. It's really great. And then there's my piece for inside my card there, and a little bit of designer series paper and another piece of paper for inside. So that's my inside pieces. I have done some of my die cutting. So this piece for the front of the card, but I also have to do a little bit more die cutting. So I'll just pull in my gorgeous little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. This is the, the free one that you could get this month if you join my handmade team. It's part of the joining promotion, it's exclusively, exclusively for the joining promotion actually. Um, it, this is a new colour, Boho Blue. I'm using this little piece here, is the piece that came out of the centre when I cut that one out. So I'm just recycling using my paper there. And I'm just cutting out some more of these lovely detailed leaves. 
to add to my card and then oops just put my lid on and run that through one thing about these machines it's really great is that you don't have to have to be super exact when you're putting putting the layers together because it all um, works quite well I'll just get rid of all my debris there and then use the flowers flower dies to cut out these now this is the designer series paper here oh that was lucky wasn't it fitting straight on and then the large flower as well and that one goes like that here we are pop my lid on hold them and then just run that through I think I've lost a little foot off the bottom of my stamp cut and emboss machine by that wobble. Yes, I've lost a little foot off there. I'll have to go searching around, see if I can find it. Okay. There we are. That's all my rubbish. Put my dies back over here. My little leaves, leaf dies. One there. I'll just pop out this rubbish before putting it away and and then this one didn't quite pop out there we go and we just work on the bits and pieces then we go okay so I can put you out of the way not you because I'll be using you in a minute all right so die cutting all complete rubbish leaves flowers now, before I stick this on, let's move that out of the way. I'm going to put my stamp on the inside so that I know exactly where it's going to go. And in this one, I might do Hooray, It's Your Day for this card. So I've got that one there and then spots. Have you heard me tell you before how much I love spots? They're fantastic at covering up mistakes and whatnot. Okay. And then I'm going to use mint macaron, which is not exactly the right colour, but it does work nicely with soft sea foam. Okay, so pop you in the middle. Hooray, it's your day. And then take that off, remove that. And we'll do some soft sea foam dotty bits all over the front some there and some there and while I'm stamping dots I'll also stamp a few for the inside of my card as well I should have a little bit of scrap paper underneath so I don't put ink all over my desk here there's a bit more all right that's that bit done I can get that one out of the way Hello anyone who is here joining me. I was going to try and set up my, I got a new device for my birthday and I was going to set that up so that I could look at comments but I was too scared when it came down to work out what to do while you're waiting. I thought, oh, I didn't want to make you wait too long or so while I was working it all out. So maybe next week I'll have another go. Okay, there we go. That and that. That is just to give it a little bit of extra colour. And then I'm going to line that up exactly on the edge there. There we are. And then my trusty scissors, which I've thrown over in the far corner. Just trim that off. Okay, now that's ready for the inside of my card. And I do like to use an extra layer inside my card. I could have just stuck the, the bits and pieces inside, but I do like to use an extra layer because if you make a mistake, it's got two sides so you can flip it over. And also it gives the card a lot more weight and stability. It makes it just finishes it off really nicely. Okay, now this little one here, I'm going to use dimensionals to give it a lovely lift. Oh, that would look nice too. Nice. Well, I'm committed now. I could have done something different, couldn't I, to show you what it looked like. 
and on there just going to use my edge piece for the bottom down there and that should probably do it pull the backs off all of these okay and then we can put that on the front of our card now it's flush with the very top of the card I cut the paper to the same height as my card and then I've got some flowers to stick on one two three four okay one there and oops I might put, I like that one better actually. Stick that one underneath. Now these dudes, I am going to stick on with mini glue dots. Now I can choose, do I want it up that way? Or that way, that way it gives it a nice contrast. And because I've used dimensionals, I've got a little bit of room I can stick underneath. There we are. Oh, I think I did that one back to front. Oops. Oh, look, it came off in my fingers beautifully. Okay. And I think I'm going to put that one upside down because it shows up a bit better. And put that one next to it. And they're stuck to the actual flowers. Now, the last thing is these loose frosted dots and they are tricky some would say a bit painful really to put on because you have to use Julia's extreme unfavorite is that a, the way I describe something um, liquid glue and I just had a thought maybe I could use mini glue dots but it wouldn't work with the teeny tiny ones so let's put one two up here and one more here and on this card there we go I'm going to use my take your pick tool and the putty tip to pick up these that works the best and I do have to use my finger to slide it off so these are daffodil delight and not sure. I think it might be Blushing Bride Pink and then Pretty Peacock. But this one I'm going to use all the same colour on this card. Just to give it some sort of consistency. And then one more. There we go. Pick that up. Look, I did that and didn't get any glue on my fingers whatsoever. I'll just put them out of the way because I'll slide them back into my container. There you go. There's my card for today using some new products. I have a couple more projects made with this stamp set. There's that gorgeous um, pretty peacock paper in the background. And I've just used the packaging from one of our packets of bling. Just recycled that and put in the loose frosted loose frosted dots inside that that was a great way to use it didn't have to use glue on that and once again i've cut die cut flowers and leaves straight out of the designer series paper and put in my little hello and just used a stitched rectangle that happened to be lying around on my table oh that's the same card but using different designer paper that's the white resist one where that one's the darker and then here's one that's completely different to the designer paper i've just stamped and die cut this one and created the window on the front and looking at this I think maybe I should put some more flowers on the top because it seems to be a little bit unbalanced so maybe I'll go and stamp a couple more flowers for the top there you go that's my introduction to the irresistible blooms bundle I hope you enjoy that and thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again next time bye bye now next Thursday two o'clock Two o'clock next Thursday. Bye-bye now.